You're listening to Shameless Feminine Speaks with your host, modern day shaman and sister to all, Rebecca Haywood, right here on LA Talk Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Shameless Feminine Speaks, the only show on LA Talk Radio for all you shamelessly shameless women, men, ladies, and misfits ready for the feminine re-evolution. That's right. And we are really excited about tonight's show. We're just like continuing busting your lies with tonight's topic, the secrets that keep us, right? Because most secrets become your keeper yes. in the end, right? Yes. And though this certainly applies to what we guard from outside eyes, mm -hmm. right? It is the secrets that you are unwilling to confess to yourself that condemn your voice and your choice. Mm -hmm. What lies beneath? This is the question. That's the question. <laughs> what or who lies beneath, right? Before your denial stepped in and constructed these prison walls, before you crafted this heist of your happiness. Oh, I like that. Right. Your heist. This heist of your happiness. Yes, That's good, yes, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> See, we congratulate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> or her. <laughs> yes. And before you embezzled your self-worth and conned your tomorrow with an I can't. Mm-hmm. Who is hiding? This is a good one. And who is hiding behind the presumed innocence of that slinky femme fatale of blame? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who is your keeper? This is what we want to know. This is what we need to know. Chuck what Jane. we need to uncover. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Now, while they all play their part, there is one who likely continues to evade your confessional, for she is full of pretty lies, pretty, pretty, pretty lies. Mm. She is properly placed and seated by societal standards, with her legs crossed and her fingers as well. <laughs> Both sets, maybe her toes too. <laughs> and she might just be able to get you out of here, right? Out of this prison. She might just be able to get you out of here if she weren't so enamored with her seven virtuous, virtuous suitors. suitors. Virtuous suitors. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah do you see why we're kind of excited about tonight's show because we have your attention we're going off after the seven virtues and we're going after your secrets and we're stepping into the confessional mm -hmm. with truth right mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna make that confessional ooh, a confessional of another kind of a different kind and we're gonna break that pretty liar's heart we can't wait to break her heart why because the truth <laughs> that she needs to know is these seven virtuous suitors, none of them are a match made in heaven. None of them. None, none of them. them. <laughs> none of them. So, I mean, are we going to go right for the jugular? Are we just going to go for the seven well, virtues? Well, the truth will set you free, but before that, it's going to piss you off. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if there are lies present, right? Absolutely. As long as there's truth present, we go, yeah, give me more, yummy, yummy. And when there's lies present, we go, oh. If there were no lies, we yeah. would simply be in our momentary truth whatever yeah. that is in that moment yeah so the truth will set you free mm -hmm. but first it's going to piss you off yes yeah it's going to get you upset it's going to make you uncomfortable mm -hmm. it's going to uh have you retreat back mm -hmm. away oh yeah we're good you're going to be enlisting all those criminals that share your cell with you yeah <laughs> denial <laughs> oh i love this you're yeah. so good with metaphors the denial the embezzler what what else did we have uh, the con, the artist, con artist the femme fatale we had them. they're all sharing that cell with you they're all in there with you yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're all in bed with you uh-huh uh -huh. You know how we say when 
people get certain contracts? Who's in? Who are they in bed with? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Those secrets make really tricky contracts, oh. don't they? Oh. 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 And and they're so binding those contracts because we don't even know that we signed them. <laughs> no. I mean, how how bad can it get? We right? we we feel it's more of an agreement rather than a contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, and and don't we kind of but that's feel not that true. we yeah. can wiggle out of agreements sure whereas with a contract that's that's uh something that's honored generally yeah generally yeah yeah so we don't really know that we've done contracts no yeah but in this case what we're saying it's not just it is just an agreement it is but it's not it it's is. more of a contract because you don't even know that you signed it mm -hmm. and because of all of these criminals all of your investment Okay, in this heist of your happiness, they're the, the thief too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this heist of your happiness. Okay, and you know the seven the seven virtues as well as the seven deadly sins mm -hmm. are going to point you kind of to some of these secrets that you keep. Yes. you know, and that keep you. Okay, really, that keep you. Yeah. All right, they're the they're the what do they call them, the jail keeper? You know, yeah, like the warden. The warden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They're the warden. They're the the pillars, the pillars of virtue and morality that put you in the clinger. Is, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. Clinger? Is that clinker. it? Clinker. Clinker. <laughs> we don't See, know. you can tell we've never been in jail. <laughs> we're not well. very good sinners. <laughs> or we're really good sinners. We've never been caught. <laughs> yeah. So do we want to just kick it right off, just, girl? Let's go in. Yeah. You know, because lies are like death. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, they're going to catch up with you. Yeah. Okay. And what is death? Why are you, you know, in general, why are we uh, mm. um, avoiding death? <laughs> right? Well, the, the question that I'd like to answer is why it feels like death, mm -hmm. you know, when, um, when your lies get called out, mm -hmm. right? And it's because of all of our, our um, identity, yes. right? Invested in those lies that we've built these lies up. Those are not just the bricks of this prison wall. Those are the bricks of your identity of what, yes. you know, in Toltec, they call the human form, the right? The human form, yes. And so when we start to challenge these bricks of your identity, lie by lie, right? Each brick, a little lie, and your belief, in your investment in that lie is the the mortar, is that what it's called, that holds the, the bricks together, right? And then as we start to shake that up, ooh, well, so I it tell feels my like clients, death. But I tell my clients, it's a Mr. Potato Head. Mm -hmm. You chose it. Yeah. You chose it. Don't ever say that someone made you do it. They did not. Yeah. They and, did not. Yeah. You chose it. You're doing it. You're upholding it. You're giving it the energy. Yes. No matter how... Uh, painful, mm -hmm. um, inconvenient, mm -hmm. inaccurate. Mm -hmm. No matter what it's, what havoc it's wreaking to your life, mm -hmm. you're breathing it. You're living it. <sighs> yes, you're living the lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and actually, really, the lie is living you. That's right, isn't it? You're, yeah. you, we are life. We've already said we mm -hmm. are life. Who's living our life? Mm -hmm. Our lies, our bad habits. But tonight. We're specifically focusing on our lies, and yeah. our lies are living our life. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I'm sure that many of you went to, you know, the secrets that keep us. You went to that place that I identified in the beginning, though it certainly does apply to what you guard, mm -hmm. right, from outside eyes, okay? And certainly keep those in mind. Keep that in mind mm -hmm. as, as we're, we're talking here. But really, the power to set yourself free Yes. Right, and the power that also imprisons you, that condemns your voice and your choice, are the secrets that you are unwilling to confess to yourself. Okay, and so let's just clarify that, like briefly, before we step well, into there, the you're virtues. You're going to, and it's it's understandable. You're mm -hmm. going to say, "I don't have any secrets," because it's the first thing everybody says is, mm -hmm. "Oh, I have no secrets." Mm -hmm. well, we're not talking about you lie about the amount of money you make, mm -hmm. or right. or who you've met, or. Mm -hmm how you're feeling. Yeah, we're not talking about privacy. We don't care. You can keep your privacy if you insist, if you right? Insist, yeah. <laughs> if you insist, you can keep your privacy. Uh, we're not talking about privacy. No, we're, we are not. We're talking about those secrets that, that even, the, the, that are essentially are lies that even you aren't Well, the double of. talk. Uh-huh. The yeah. double talk. The, the questions you never answer. Mm -hmm. The questions that you're so uh, adroit at 
uh, maneuvering around mm -hmm. and escaping yeah. the situations that you stay away from so that you won't be questioned. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. those are the secrets we're talking about. Yeah. Everything that you do that you won't let yourself be grounded in, you're doing it. Yes that you won't actually give yourself the choice to choose, mm, yes. right? Those little secrets that the femme fatale of blame, yes. right? This is a huge secret that we keep from ourselves, you know, that we, we think we're very quite, quite justified in our blame, oh, right? Yeah. Especially as, oh, as victims, oh, you know? And God. as you all know, I am a self-confessed victim. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and that was her, her greatest um, detriment to herself, yes. to me was that blame game, right? Because as, as long as we blame, you all have heard this before, but have you really paid attention to every time that you blame another person in your life, a, a situation, um, you know, well, oh, I, lack of sleep? I mean, how many things do but you it, blame? But it does, it's a person or a thing. Right, and, and when we blame, we give our power away, right? When we blame, we give our power away. That's what you've heard right? And that's what you know here, but have you really truly applied it? Or are you still keeping that secret from yourself? Or are do you, you even know what it means? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you really know what it means when we say you give your power away? Because you can't give your power away. Right. Okay? You can't give your, it's, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. Yeah. You cannot give your power this away. This is true. However, <laughs> what are you doing when you give your power away? <laughs> are you confused yet? <laughs> <laughs> yes. When you say <laughs> it's because um, uh, the weather, let's say, okay, we're yeah. late because of the weather. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. Sure. We're late because of the weather and, mm. and the traffic conditions because of the weather. Mm. No. What's the truth? You didn't want to go. You dragged your ass. You didn't arrive on time. Right. Or let's even go for the larger scope of, of why you know that when you blame, you give your power away. Mm -hmm. And yet you still do it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so what is that secret that's holding that habit in place exactly. of doing it anyway in spite of what you know? You know better and yet you do it, right? What is the secret in there? Well, I know for me, I really enjoyed having somebody to blame it on. If I had no one to blame it on, that meant I was completely responsible for oh. myself. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. How could that be? I don't trust myself. I don't trust my own power. I know what I've done with my power. I know how I've hurt myself, how I've used it against myself. I'm terrified of my power, so I'm going to keep blaming the rest of the world so that I can continue to not be responsible for myself. That's right. Woo, there's you know. a secret. I yeah. always, I always <laughs> use my marriage, mm -hmm. and I stayed in the marriage, yeah. the first marriage. I stayed there, and the secret, the secret was in the very, very end. I mean, I could see because Rebecca and I kind of worked through this mm -hmm. before, and I've always said, and I do believe a, an enormous portion of it was the money, the status, the neighborhood, etc., mm -hmm. and then the children. Yeah, you know, but what I got to see was, oh. <gasps> I'll never, didn't I say it last night? Mm -hmm. I'll never find anyone like Robert again. Oh, oh, and you never did and you never would. And I never can <laughs> because the there's only one of him. Yes, <laughs> yeah. But that wasn't the way I was looking at it. Mm -hmm. I, my secret was, oh, I can't let go of him. Mm -hmm. I can't let go of the situation. Mm -hmm. The situation is him. Mm -hmm. And I can't let go of that because there's not another one of him. And that's correct. There isn't another one of him. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. Now, more money, the money, the status, the, uh, what was it, the neighborhood, et cetera, et cetera. That can be recreated in its own way, mm -hmm. you see. But no, the true secret was, will I ever find someone like Robert, here we go, mm -hmm. who will want me? That was the real secret. Here's the real secret. Mm-hmm. Who will want you? Who will want me? I'm yes. going to say it again. So, okay, because uh -huh. it sounded like money, status, etc. And then I got to the portion was where, well, I, you know, I can't let go of Robert because mm -hmm. he symbolizes that. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I stayed with Robert symbolizes that, and then I went into and if I can't find a Robert, <gasps> no, it's not that I can't find a Robert. I possibly won't find a Robert that wants me mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so my secret pain was i am possibly 
will not be wanted. Right, right. Not be desirable. Can you believe that? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This woman believing that she's not desirable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So if she held that secret, ooh, what are you holding? Mm -hmm. What are you holding out there about your beauty, your desirability, your lovability, your intelligence? Right. What secret are you holding there that is actually holding you and causing you to stay in an unloving relationship? How right? about women who are really, really good at business, but because we don't make as much money as our husbands or mm -hmm. our uh, beloved, mm -hmm. whoever that may be, mm -hmm. he or she, you know, and they make more, let's say, dollar-wise. Right. And we count the dollars made instead of the ability to be able to. I'm a damn good businesswoman. Mm. Once I wasn't married anymore, I had mm -hmm. to take care of myself and the children and the yeah. house and the rent and everything. And right. I found out I'm really good with money. Yeah. I'm good at making it. I'm good at spending it. Right. <laughs> Right. But I didn't know that while I was married because he made so much more than me mm -hmm. that I put the value on the on the dollars made. Does that make sense to yep. you? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So one of your wardens was yes. that that was the money. Oh, absolutely. The prestige. The Prestige. neighborhood, I remember you mentioning that before. Yes, It was yes. kind of, you know, all of these things. And, and, and those were kind of the very blatant wardens, right, that we can see and that maybe they're secret because we're not quite willing to admit, I'm staying for the money. Yeah, I'm staying for I'm the money, staying the big for the house. convenience. Oh, I'm staying for the, the kids. That wouldn't really be a secret you'd want to keep necessarily, right? Yeah, but, you um, know. Right, I mean, that might be something you're proud of because it's on the virtue list, I oh, would think. Oh, that's on the Some other list. Semblance. That's on the good girl list. Yeah, that's on the good girl list. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I'm loyal, right? I don't but know what's on But the bad girl list, I'm what, sorry, I'm going to look terrible. at this right We're terrible. We don't now. even know. We had to write them down because we don't know <laughs> Let's what the seven see. virtues are. The gad girl, are. oh, their lust, gluttony, greed. greed. Oh, those are, those are the, of course you're reading the sins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. She's going right but, for the sins. Well, yeah, but you know, the, the money and the house and the prestige yes and everything yeah that that would be under greed well and this is true the the, the virtues um the virtue would are be just as big of a or the 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 sins sins are just as big of a, a culprit right mm -hmm. uh, a, a part of that pretty liar as the, as the virtues so absolutely yeah. yeah yeah so i didn't want to appear greedy right don't appear greedy so that's what makes it a secret oh yeah right yeah. we want to absolutely appear temperate i think that that's yeah, the opposite, that would, right? Yeah. Of the gluttony is temperance, right? We're charity. Little, or charitable. Charitable. Yes, charitable. Of so I want to look big hearted because I had a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I want to look I want to look generous. Oh, yeah. I don't want to look greedy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'll let myself um, fool myself mm -hmm. about being afraid of being seen as a greedy person mm -hmm. by deluding myself that I'm really a generous person. Mm -hmm. Secrets. Secret secrets, right? Mm -mm. And so until she could uncover that secret and go, oh, well, yeah, really, truly, I'm staying for the money, um, then she could hear that secret, right? And yes. go, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I can make my own money. I make money. I'm a good business woman. I am a woman. good business woman. What is, what is the secret I've been keeping from myself now? Ah, the key's in my hand. I'm free. Mm -hmm. Out you go. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and then also, like we said about the money, mm -hmm. it's like, wait a minute. Okay, I don't make that much money, right. but I make good money. Yeah. Key. Yeah. It's like I'm an adult. It's like we I said the first I time when I, when I didn't have mm -hmm. the abortion and I said, remember I shared with you? I said, yeah. I have a real job now. Remember I said, yes. I can have this child. Yes. I have a real job now. Yes. I'm an adult. I yes. have a real job now. I kept repeating to myself, <laughs> you see. So with this, is I don't make as much, but I make not even enough. I make excellent money. I can support myself mm -hmm. and, and keep the lifestyle I want and mm -hmm. keep my children safe, mm -hmm. you see. I was under the illusion that because I couldn't make those dollars that were being made by my spouse, that that meant I wasn't as good of a business person. No, it was just a different category. Right, right. You see. Yeah. And so, so you, you see the power of the secret to in prison oh. is the same power that unlocks the prison. Absolutely. Right? It, the secret uh, uh, locks us up, <laughs> but it doesn't throw away the key. No. It is the key. It is the key. It's the moment you confess 
your secret to yourself. Yes. To yourself. This is why this is a confessional of a different kind, okay? <laughs> We're not asking for anybody else to pardon our sins. No, no. No, no. no, no. Well, they can. Actually, there's nothing to pardon. Correct. It is merely holding witness to yourself in that aha moment of going, oh, wow, this is why I'm really staying. And wow, that's a load of crock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? Wow, that's a funny one. I spoke right? to uh, several women this weekend mm -hmm. at an event I was at, yeah, I and we spoke about uh, divorce. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I said that really impacted them was uh, that once I got divorced, I was no longer going to lie. Yeah. And they said that really impacted them. Mm -hmm. And what they were able to see was, where am I lying? So no, they didn't know yet. Right, right. But they were determined to find out where, how, and why they're lying. Yeah. It's, a, it's such a simple but bold act that you did for yourself. It's a declaration. Mm -hmm. you see? It's to a, never lie again. Never, mm -hmm. never, mm -hmm. never. I won't. You yeah, see, I won't. I won't do that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we invited you guys. What was it last week? I uh -huh. guess uh, one just, week. Just one. It was twenty-four hours. We said. Mm -hmm. So I wonder. Well, was it one only twenty-four hours? I tried hey, to give more. I tried them. to give more. Oh, you were the one me? that was easy. <laughs> oh, see, I'm the yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was the one that was pushing for you know a little high, higher, not punishment, but uh, <laughs> uh, a little more feisty <laughs> practice. So. Yeah, but I, I wonder how it went for you all. You know, um, hit us up in the chat room. We'll, we, we always check in. We, you know, right now, I don't know. We never really look at it during the show, but we, we might change that. Yeah. Um, but it's just a little challenging for us right now. To go back and forth. To okay. go back have, and have forth. Have mercy on us. Yeah, have mercy. <laughs> but we do check in with the chat room every time after the show. We respond to all your comments, and sometimes those comments become the next show. Yes, right? yes, and we really do. We respond to each yeah. one of them. Yeah. Both of us respond mm -hmm. to all of the comments. Yeah, or if you reach out to us directly. I know a few of your students reached out to you about last week's show. Yes, so. yes. Yeah, that it was like it was great to like get that feedback to know what was clear, what wasn't clear. And, oh wow, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, these secrets, baby. Secrets, secrets, the secrets, and these secrets are very valuable to you. I mean, you lay your life down to keep these secrets, mm -hmm. and you get extremely angry. Mm -hmm. You get agitated, and you get to a certain degree, you get violent mm -hmm. when we begin to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Did you know that's why you don't like people to ask you questions? <laughs> Did you know that? Well, you don't you know, like anybody to ask you questions. Well, yeah. And, um, you know, last week it was the perpetual diplomat, mm -hmm. right? Yes. The truth of what we trade. And that's what we announced. We were going to talk about secrets this week because we never really dove into that aspect of the diplomat, yeah, right, that will guard the, the nation's secrets with their life. With their life. You know, you thought I was being, you know, expletive in that statement. Yeah. No, no. You'll, you'll go down with the ship. Yeah. You will you, go down with the ship being you, your ship. This is your ship, okay? Uh -huh. You'll go down with it. Yeah. You will go down with it, and, and before you go down with it, you will play double agent. Oh, yes. Double secret double agent, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you totally will. Your nation's secrets, right? That you... Don't let your ego be on mm -hmm. the committee to get rid of ego. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. That's the that's the that's the double trouble agent right there. <laughs> I've had clients because I do you via f the phone or Zoom or Skype, and I've I've sensed something, and I keep asking, well, what about this or what about that? And I kept sensing something about illness or mm. you know, like, well, I'm I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. What what what? No 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 no. Well, then later on, I found out through other sources that just happened to say it mm -hmm. that what it was I was sensing. And I was right on, and the person knew I was right on. The person did not want to divulge it. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. They did not. I was right on. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you know. If I'm right on and you're not willing to divulge, then you're paying me money for nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. We're going to accomplish nothing because you're walking away with that damned secret that I'm sniffing out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, she's a, she's a pro. Yeah. She's a pro. And She's you, like you, two, I mean, Toucan Sam with that nose over there. <laughs> yes. And you know what? And you, I, I've seen you. I've seen you just kind of sit there quiet and listen to somebody talking. And then I can see your eyes shifting like, oh, no, I don't think so. I, yeah. I wait. I see the whole thread. And I wait and I wait and I wait until I see, aha, here, like just one little loose aspect one of that thread that I can get my, my finger under mm -hmm. and just 
start to pull gently because i'm the I, I go gentle most of the time right i gently and i'm gently more like pull. we talked about this today yeah. i'm more like the Inuit or the Eskimo, but the Inuit by the blowhole. Mm -hmm. And I'll crouch there and I'll listen to you. I'm a professional listener mm -hmm. and I'm quiet and I'm patient. And then boom, and the harpoon goes in. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? And I start asking questions. It's true. Because your story is not making sense. It's true. You know, I can't wait till we do our first shameless feminine play shop, workshop, oh, whatever yes. we're going to call it, day shop, weekend retreat. Yes. Oh my God, we're yes. going to make an amazing tag team <laughs> with people. Yeah. Look out. Because all that happens is, is when we have secrets mm -hmm. and we're telling a story, the story doesn't make sense mm -hmm. because yeah. there is a big portion that's a void. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, what would that's you call missing. it? Like a, like a black hole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like you're looking at a painting mm -hmm. and then there's this big piece there that's just not painted. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yeah. Your story doesn't Your make story sense. It doesn't add up mm -hmm. because it, it, there is a missing piece of the equation. Yes. Um, there's, it, it, you know, and, and, and when, as you tell the story, you're not quite present. You know, pay attention to that. How you're kind of swimming above. Mm -hmm. yourself as you're talking as you're sharing remember with that another. voice remember mm -hmm. men and women they mm -hmm. get real high yeah. their voice goes high or you start saying what mm -hmm. what and, and and remember we're saying you can keep your privacy we're gonna like let you stay comfortable there yeah. for now okay? for now you can keep your privacy this isn't about like oh now go out and tell the world all yeah. your secrets no just tell yourself okay or tatiana and i yeah you know uh, include uh, us yeah we're, we're we're happy to hear your secrets okay we're happy to we will be so happy for you yes you know, like to private witness you confessing private, your secrets you're like, oh, what pregnant a joy. or 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 you're recently divorced or or you're or, engaged or you're you entirely know? unhappy yeah right you know, what, that's what's private? one of the biggest okay. secrets we keep from ourselves i am so unhappy right yeah right oh just take that secret away yeah. from yourself at least and go admit it I'm not Be happy. I'm not happy in this marriage. I'm not happy in this job. But you said a good one. Just yeah. tired. Yeah. Just tired. Uh -huh. You know, if, if, if you, uh, there's some little illnesses going around. Yeah. It's winter. And if you've been ill, mm -hmm. you've been ill. That doesn't mean that you're a weak person. Mm -hmm. it, you've been ill. You see. Care for yourself. Speak up for yourself. See, yes. Secrets don't let you be all of yourself. Right. Right. If we just touch on how I look at 69, mm -hmm. I, I, I already want to say 70 for a big birthday. <laughs> 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 but if we just touch on that just briefly, it's because, because to the extent that I can, I have no secrets. Yeah. I have more light available. I have more life force. I don't have all of these... Um, like um, mm -hmm. BB gun holes. Yeah. Would yeah. you say? You're not like leaking. These, you're yeah. not leaking everywhere. All these little BB gun holes. And, and your flow flows. Yes. Your flow flows. Yes. You know, it, it's, you know, that's the thing about these secrets. Um, these secrets we keep from ourselves, yes. right? That, that denial, okay, that steps in and constructs these prison walls isn't just keeping other people out from seeing, isn't just keeping you from seeing, it's keeping life out, it's keeping God out, divinity, spirit, whatever you want to call Experience. it. It's keeping life force away from you, that denial, right, those walls. The way you experience yourself as life mm -hmm. is so personal that's your art yeah that's your art okay yeah. Yeah. so we're not saying take your clothes off and run around buck naked what we we're not are saying don't say either <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true too. but what we are saying is each moment is constructed by you each moment mm -hmm. is determined by you mm -hmm. and if you are really so busy keeping all of these um what do they call it, like in Holland or the Netherlands, the the dike with all the little, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, you know, yeah. Like whack-a-mole, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Keeping them all plugged up. Yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted plugged, mm -hmm. you know, like a little whack-a-mole. Keeping yeah. all the little holes in the dike plugged. You cannot focus on right here, right now. Mm -hmm. God bless you, but you cannot. You cannot focus on right here, right now. Mm -hmm. right. You're dispersed. You are dispersed. And 
and you're 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 dispersed, distracted, right? Yes. You're 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 also part of those prison walls, right? Like I said in the in the intro, the 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 one who likely evades your confessional because she is so pretty, so pretty, pretty, mm. pretty, right? Um, she evades that confessional. She's really the one that kind of puts you there. Oh, okay, yeah. and she's been there a long time. She he. Okay, Shahi, we're talking to you men too. This is not, not only women are secret keepers, right? Or no. oh. kept by their secrets. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, no. We all are. We all are equally susceptible to this. Yes. Um, and yeah, it really is that, that, that pretty liar, right? Um, what, are the, what do you mean by that? So that they can have a, a more grounded metaphor for So this. underneath it all, okay, so it may or may not be obvious to you, your, your denial, okay, those, those larger voices of I can't, right, mm -hmm. that say I'm not worthy, right, you may have done a lot of work on yourself, right, and, and you've been able to recognize those, and so mm -hmm. you can hear them in your confessional, you've confessed those secrets to yourself, I believe not I'm worthy. not worthy, yeah. right, you've read enough self-help books, right, but, but to know all of those, you, you maybe you at least understand, right, the femme fatale the concept, blame, but right, but what you're doing is you're understanding concepts. Okay, and maybe you've brought it beyond concept and actually applied some practice to it, let's just, you know, all right. And yet, benefit of the doubt. Yeah. And yet, you know, the one that that was ensnare, continuing to ensnare me and evade my con my confessional was that pretty liar. And what I mean by her. OK. And I said, OK, she's she's properly placed and seated by societal standards. Right. With her legs crossed and her fingers crossed. And she just might be able to get you out of this prison if she weren't so enameled, enamored, enameled. Well, that <laughs> enameled. too. <laughs> enameled. I'm not enameled. Um, but she weren't so enamored by her seven virtuous suitors, right? And so who is this pretty liar? But she is, you know, your moral high ground or low ground, right? She's that. She's at your core. And that's why she's kind of hard to recognize. She's she peer pressure. She feels like you. She, she's kind of what you've built yourself upon. The first years of your domestication by your parents, your religion, your school, your everything, the world, right? Those first years of domestication that maybe you even rebelled against later in life, okay? Like how many of us really, well, you know, my, who didn't rebel against? Any of my clients listening will know that as your nest energy, mm -hmm. okay? That's your nest energy. Okay, your nest energy. And I you like do, that. you do what you do because, you know, like you're the mommy, daddy bird, two mm -hmm. mommies, two daddies, whatever. I don't mm -hmm. give a shit. Okay, but the two big birds are the one bird that was there to teach you how to make that nest, mm -hmm. which warms to eat, right. which flowers to sip, okay? Mm -hmm. You learned what you learned, and then when you leave that nest, this is what you do, because you were taught to do it mm -hmm. this way. Right, this way. Right, this the right way. way, not the wrong way. Right, yeah. <laughs> right? the because right way, not the wrong right. way. Right. Us little hummingbirds are right. They mm -hmm. look at the eagles and they go, oh. Mm -mm. way too big a nest <laughs> you know and the big eagles look at the little hummingbird thimble and they go oh dear how do they live in that in that space <laughs> right yes that lack of space you call that a space sounds so like my studio apartment um. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're looking at right now is what you're doing is what you were taught to do mm -hmm. right and she's full of pretty lies. I call them pretty lies. Were you going to say something more? I'm sorry. No, it's her. just this is what uh, we're accustomed to. Yes. So yeah. this is what you do because you're accustomed. To yeah. It. And she feels so familiar because she's been here for so long, yes. right? Yes. And really at that core. And even if you rebelled against her, which many of us did. Yes. And do. E each one of us. At, at, each one of at us. At best, at best, we, we, um, just created like the the polarity to her right but we didn't actually remove the the beliefs the original agreements right that right. were there of the good bad right or wrong we just rebelled against them and picked a new set of agreements to overlay but underneath it we secretly feel secretly here's the secret here's we secretly secret. feel like a sinner Yes. Right? We feel like a sinner. And so what you do is you leave the home that you mm -hmm. swear you will never replicate. You get married, and that's exactly what you do because mm -hmm. you don't know different. Mm -hmm. So what you're rebelling against is the nest you're in. You leave the nest thinking you're free. I'm going to go be an eagle. Uh-huh. And you leave, and you marry an eagle, and you're a hummingbird, and then what happens? 
the eagle eats you. <laughs> <laughs> no. well, well, yes, in well, a way. You I make mean, you know, little metaphorically. beautiful eagle hummingbird babies. Yeah. Ooh. Hum- <laughs> hummingles? <laughs> <laughs> little white head hummingbirds. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Okay, no, but no, no. But no. we digress. But yes, but we digress. <laughs> Maybe we don't. We don't know. Maybe this will be next week's topic. <laughs> Maybe you somehow. understand this. Maybe you're the eagle or the hummingbird, Maybe, okay? Yeah, and you're like... with an eagle or a hummingbird. Yeah, you yeah. see? This is what we're talking mm-hmm. about. Where is the lie in that? Yeah. Where is the lie? Mm-hmm. Because if we do have any pairings of hummingbirds and eagles that are not working, and we say they're working, and yet we're in dire straits, then they're not working, are they? Right. Or, uh, but they'll work perfectly if they both just let go of being an eagle yes. or a hummingbird. Right? Yes, because those are the straight jackets. Mm-hmm. They're right. life jackets so, that turn into straight yeah. jackets. If they obliterate the, the bricks, the brick wall. Mm-hmm. They, let, uh, they let the truth obliterate their lies Mm -hmm. you can't find truth with lies Mm -mm. okay you cannot find your truth Mm -mm. through your lies no No. you want to look at your lies and your Mm -hmm. lies are your secrets they're what you guard they your secrets are what make you angry when someone gets too close Mm. your secrets are what makes you agitated Mm. when someone starts to poke Mm. your secrets are where you get um insulted that they would dare to question. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Insult, rage, anger. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. No, there's nothing that valuable that needs to be hidden. <laughs> no. no, no. No, no. And 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 so I don't think I completed that thought. The 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 reason I call them pretty lies and this is what's going to bring us to our virtues and our sins. We're going to dive into that real quick. Um but yeah, the reason I call them pretty lies is mm-hmm. because they are couched in those kind of virtuous things of what is good, mm-hmm. right? It's on that side of it. So it's, I'll it, give you those one. lies are couched in what is good. And so she's the good, pretty little girl. Okay, she's doing so everything like, right. Like uh, take uh, patience. Mm. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. So give me a lie that they can relate to. Mm. But um, it's a lie about patience or it's clothed in patience. Mm. Oh, that's a tough one because yeah, I love. I'm very patient. Individual. Toe tappers, toe tappers. Oh. You're lying. You're uh, you're a f- you're a f- fucking liar. <laughs> you can swear. You can. Can swear. we? Yeah, it's you're a fucking read. liar. <laughs> you are so full of bullshit. I am so patient. Tap 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 mm. tap. As I sit here quietly. Or I've got my arms crossed and my foot's going or my pencil's going. Or I sit here very quietly and when she finally walks into the room, I say, oh, nice to see you could make it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well, here's a lie. Okay. So, yes, the lie of patience itself. I am so patient, but really underneath it, you're like, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? mm-hmm. um, but the secret, I think, that a lot of, um, a lot of us keep uh, or that the patience itself, because the pretty lie is the patience, right? We say, I'm so patient, but what is underneath that lie that is saying, I, I, this is why I'm staying, because I'm so patient, mm. right? This is why I'm waiting, because I'm so patient. I'm so patient. I'm so patient. You know, this is why I'm not acting, because uh, I am so patient. How dare you not appreciate me? Yeah. I've been so patient. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so underneath that secret, that virtue of patience, right? What is the, the real secret underneath that? Then no, you know what? Time is short. Life is short. Mm-hmm. Time, time doesn't exist, right? So we're in no hurry. But this lifetime, you only get one. And this moment, you, you only, only get, get one. You uh-huh. only get it. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah, you only get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So never again one like it. So mm-hmm. you're, I love what you said. I, yeah. that, that's it. Yeah. We, we, you, and, then, and then you, um, what's the word? Um, you punish. Mm-hmm. You punish because you've been so patient. Mm. How mm. dare you not value me because I've been so patient. Mm-hmm. And, and you're living your life in a way that's not uh, honoring mm. my ability to wait for you to evolve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Well, you know, yeah. And like, because so we've s- seen that one. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. But I love this. I love that, like, underneath the lie of patience, with that virtue of patience, is actually, no, don't wait. Stop being so patient. Okay. <laughs> like, sure, be compassionate, be empathetic. You know, uh, don't be in a rush, right? Don't be in a rush, but don't but her. wait. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't bide your time, right? But the don't, secret would ooh, be that ooh, they are potential. Oh, living for ooh, potential. Is that, is that, that goes in cahoots with patience, oh, does yeah. it not, right? Living for potential. Living for potential. Mm. I'm patient. I will wait for him to evolve, to measure up to the potential that I see in him. And what we're really talking about, though, <laughs> the secret is. Are you patient? What Rebecca is saying is you're waiting, you're clothing it with this beautiful um, negligee of patience. Negligee of patience. Mm -hmm. Yes. And all the while you're enraged. It's like that movie about the devil with Keanu Reeves when he sees the people all beautiful and then suddenly their faces will turn and get all distorted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Meanwhile, you're like, I can't wait for him to change. You're... um, uh, what, what was that movie, uh, Vinny, or something like, my biological clock is <laughs> ticking! <laughs> when you're stomping your foot. Because you know the truth underneath that patience is, is, yeah, don't be in a hurry, and yet, let's go. Let's be here now. Let's stop waiting for the so potential. So the truth is, though, you are angry. We're not mm-hmm. faulting you for being angry. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's no fault. Ooh. There's no shame. That's There's on no there, blame. isn't it? Let's isn't see. it something with anger on there? Because that's one. <laughs> um, but we're not faulting you for being angry. We're not, we're, oh, well, no P, uh, shame, no be, blame. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wrath. On the other side of patience is wrath. Yes. So we're saying don't get angry with this, uh, that anger is the sin. You know, that that part of you that is saying, come on, I don't want to stay like this. I don't want to live like this anymore, right? And, and that wants to have that conversation that maybe is difficult, yes. where all the secrets come out that say, hey, I'm not happy in this marriage. And all the secrets that are going to come tumbling right? out once you open that closet door, mm-hmm. they're going to be, and that time, and you remember this, and when that was happening, and what about this, okay? Mm-hmm. And there's all the skeletons that come tumbling down. Yeah, yeah. Because okay? you're upset. You're not very happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you are definitely not patient. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a oh, big fat lie. It's a big fat lie. Well, we talked a little bit about charity and greed. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, you talk about chastity and lust. Oh, chastity and <laughs> lust. Right, right. Okay. Chastity Why did we start with that one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's going to be the rest of the night. <laughs> chastity well, and well, lust. We want to, we want to, I hope we can get Which into a few want? of these, but, but chastity and lust, go for it, baby. Okay, chastity. What does chastity mean? Oh, yeah, we, Saving yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Saving yourself. Saving the good china for the party. It's <laughs> coming someday that you're going to give, maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chastity. Saving your love. Saving your hugs, your kisses, your adoration. Saving your body. Saving your eyes. Saving, saving, saving. Mm-hmm. What are you saving and why and for whom? Mm-hmm. For whom are you saving it? Okay. Yeah. Now, underneath that, when you're saving it and you're so proud of yourself, this is where it's a lie. You are so proud of yourself because you're still a virgin and you're what? I don't know, 30. Um, let's make it 27. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have the 40-year-old virgin. virgin. That was the, that movie. The movie. Yeah, so we yes. can be 40, 40-year-old okay. virgin. Why not? But what we're looking at is you're, you're so, I, and I have stories that will back this up. They're so virtuous. They're, you know, they're saving themselves. But they've had sex in any way you can imagine. It just hasn't included their vagina. <laughs> okay? It just hasn't included their vagina. So they feel that they are saving themselves. Are you kidding me? Okay. They've put, and, I, and they had to, they educated me. They've mm-hmm. had the penis under their arm. They've had the penis between their breasts. They've had the penis in their neck. They've had it between their legs. I mean, they've had it up their bum. They've had the penis anywhere you can think of except the vagina. And that <laughs> means they haven't had sex, so they are chaste. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot the mouth. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. no, this is a true story. Mm-hmm. Okay, so chaste. This person was chaste. No, 
This person wanted that penis so badly. This person was willing to put it everywhere but the vagina. Mm-hmm. That's lust. Mm-hmm. It turns into an aggravated sexual act. Mm-hmm. I'm using the words carefully right now. Mm-hmm. It's an aggravated, agitated type mm-hmm. of sex. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm, do you have to say to oh, that? The oh. aggravated. <laughs> I, have, I have something to say. I'm very, I'm very aggravated. No, not aggravated, but I'm very excited. I'm agitated. It, 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 it's stirring. I love this. I love this. I love what we're doing here because. Yes. So for me, okay, chastity and lust, okay. So, and I'm sure that so many of you can relate to this, okay. Um, you know, beyond it, for me, I don't really identify it as like saving myself, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I was identifying it as like, you know, that I am chaste, that I am the good girl, that I am the prude, right? And regardless this, of this is what I was putting on the outside, okay, for everybody else to see because underneath the secret was that yeah, actually I was really freaking horny, okay? And really sexual, sensual being, okay? And yet I thought that, you know, I I tied in my sexy with my beauty with my sexuality, with my sensuality. We you know, we've talked about we this talked before, about right? That. And so it was all kind of muddied back there behind this very chaste mm. presentation of myself, which for me, it didn't look like this like buttoned up nun. Operative word, presentation. Presentation. It didn't look like this buttoned up nun. It looked like the tomboy, right? I've told you about that. Um, it, I mean, Tatiana, she, she, you called me out in Teo going, oh my God, where did those boobs come from? Where yeah. did that body come from? Like you yeah. hide your gorgeous body. We were roommates body. and the first time we were roommates, you know, mm-hmm. we got undressed and I turned around and I go, whoa, <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, always... and, and do you remember your, yeah. your feeling at the time? Do you remember? I remember because usually the one observing remembers more than the one in the Oh, I'm sure I wanted to run and hide yeah. right away. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You Cover turned up. around. Uh-huh. You turned around and you just kind of giggled and you said, oh, well, yeah, you know, and you didn't really know what to say. And then I started laughing because it was so obvious that she was not embarrassed, not embarrassed. She wasn't embarrassed. She wasn't ashamed, but she was very uncomfortable even talking about mm-hmm. the beauty of her body. I wasn't ashamed in your eyes. Right. I wasn't ashamed in your eyes because there was no shame in your eyes. Yeah. And so there was something that kind of tickled me about that. You know, that was, uh, yeah, I was shy, timid. Shy, that's the word I want. Shy, timid. That's the word I want. And yet there was an aspect of me that was like (sighs) relieved Uh because I was being seen in my beauty and my sexy and in, you know, uh, you know, not lust exactly, but, you know, in that which I associated with lust, that which I associated as the culprit of why I was raped, of why, you know, of why uh, everything everything happened, why everything, okay, (laughs) of why I wasn't good, why, why I was a bad girl, yes, right, and therefore why these things happened to me. So here's an example, okay, it, it, for me, the chastity was the prude, okay, Mm -hmm. and the presentation that, that, would at least convince the world Mm -hmm. so they won't look underneath what I secretly believe about myself and know about myself, right? I knew I was a very sexual, sensual being. But you equated sensual, sexual with being lustful. Mm -hmm. With being bad, Okay. okay? So I had to hide that from them. And here's the thing about our secrets that we keep from other people. Ooh, I'm really glad we landed on this. The thing about the secrets that we keep from other people is that eventually we start to keep them from ourselves. Yes. Okay, eventually. Even if we are so aware, like, Oh, I know. I'm super sexy. I'm like, whatever. I'll just let dad think what he wants to think and like see what he wants to see out here. The little chase to Rebecca. But I'm like super sexy on the inside. Yeah. Eventually, even you stop to see. You and can't to hear feel your voice that super anymore. sexy. Right. You start to worship those outside eyes with mm-hmm. your lies and you start to believe your lies. And this is when your lies start to live your life. So yours, mm-hmm. yours. Yes. <clears throat> So what yeah. are, the charity, right? Chastity. chastity excuse yeah. me. Chastity. Mm-hmm. Okay, chastity, chastity and mm-hmm. lust. Yeah. Okay. And I can totally, completely see that. Mm-hmm. For me, in my personal life, mm. that, didn't, that didn't happen, that didn't work, because I was completely at home with my body, mm-hmm. my vagina, my desires, 
You see, when you hold anything back, it's going to go um, into its opposition. Yes. Anything suppressed. You you had, actually, before I came yeah. on, you had a, um, a podcast about uh, mm-hmm. suppressing, yes. I believe. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And when we suppress, it goes into its, its opposite. Mm-hmm. So any kind of sensuality, any kind of sexuality, any kind of desire, any kind of just rubbing up against like that mm-hmm. kitty, you yeah. see, will go into lust because it needs the force. Uh-huh. It's the it rubber band needs, effect. Yes, it yeah. needs that force to come out. Okay, you're not going to honor that we like this, then we're going to just like it. <laughs> we're really going to like you're swinging it. swinging around a pole. Yeah. <laughs> not me, I yeah. wasn't, but yeah, you, no, did, you? No. did you just raise your hand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't know that about you. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, that's exciting. Oh, yes. I Ooh. love sex. I love, I love sex. I, I, well, we, I, I can't wait to hear about that. Oh, we'll, yes, but we, what we get I another think, show from that what kind. I think I uh, suffered from yeah would be um temperance mm, and gluttony uh would that have to be gluttony that would be the opposite of it yeah temperance and gluttony gluttony i think that you what you shared was the diligence yeah 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 diligence uh that you shared that that was really big in your family oh, that, yes. that work ethic work right ethic and resilience yeah. diligence and resilience mm-hmm. so what's my opposite what and, did it get put into often, pride yeah, and often yeah. underneath the diligence, yeah, pride. pride. Often underneath the diligence is that I'm not enough. Yes. Right? That's driving the like workforce, the work ethic. And, you know what I mean? So, and actually, d- greed is driving the diligence. And what else? Gluttony is driving the, the diligence. But when you mentioned mm-hmm. my family, and yes. Pride. But yeah. I was raised with, with having great diligence and, and great perseverance mm-hmm. and, and a beautiful work ethic, really. Mm-hmm. But it got to the point where. We were, as a family, and then I as a human, Mm -hmm. and a person when I left my nest, I was so diligent, Mm -hmm. I was so on point, Mm -hmm. that I became extremely judgmental, Mm -hmm. which is pride, prideful, Mm -hmm. you know? And and no one could do anything around me Mm -hmm. to the perfection that I could. And I wouldn't call myself a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. I I know it sounds like I was a a perfectionist, Mm -hmm. and I know it looked like I was a perfectionist, but it was all about this this diligence yeah. and 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 carrying it through and following through and taking it all the way and doing your best. Yes. Yeah. See, yeah. But that evolved into pride. Yeah. So the the pride was the secret underneath the diligence, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And were there any other secrets underneath the diligence besides pride? Absolutely. That uh, that if I didn't keep this up, mm-hmm. this facade mm-hmm. up, if I didn't stay this on point Mm -hmm. that I would crumble Mm. like I would crumble Mm -hmm. I mean that I would crumble yeah cease to exist Mm -hmm. cease to exist Mm -hmm. and really take that in I know there are those of you out there that are understanding this Mm -hmm. that if you don't keep up this facade of being all encompassing and being being able to do I can do it I can do it I Mm -hmm. got it I got it I got it and if there's ever a moment that you can't get it, that you're going to cease to exist. Hmm. You see, I yeah. would cease to exist. I think therefore for I am. I know therefore I am. I work therefore I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I bleed therefore I am. One of the most beautiful times was mm-hmm. when uh, we mentioned this very briefly, going to the Pyramid of the Sun. And that morning I said, I'm not going up there. Yes, yeah. I'm not going. And I met everybody at breakfast at 9. Yeah. And I felt um, excited and nervous, but I didn't feel like a bad girl. And I could feel myself still here. Yeah. I had made the choice. Yeah. You, know. you did it. You broke it. You busted it. And so this is one tool that we're giving you right now, that she's giving you right now, is, you know, take the action, okay? I, I've kind of introduced the concept of shape-shifting, yes. right? And really, you know, just like taking the, like, mysterious shape-shifting away from it. It's really just taking the the action that challenges, you know, taking the action in spite of your fear, taking the action that maybe actually challenges your fear, okay, within reason, with safety, okay, like to take care of yourself, okay, take care of your body, keep yourself safe. But this is taking care of yourself (laughs) by by looking at what it is you, Mm -hmm. what what step do you want to take, as she's saying, Mm -hmm. what step is good for you? Yeah, what is going to bust that lie? What is going to 
let that secret out of the closet, out of the prison, okay? What is going to take it out of the hands of the pretty liar, right? Mm -hmm. Which and, is just you in disguise. And which is just you in disguise, right? So and uh, so real quick, because we're almost out of time here. Yeah, it went so um, quickly. But, ooh, so kindness. I wanted to talk about kindness oh, God. and humility. I could just like kind of lump those together. Mm -hmm. I mean, gosh, those last three, patience, kindness, and humility. Isn't that just Rebecca to a T? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that Rebecca? Uh-huh. It's so me. Mm -hmm. And you know what's on the other side of them? Wrath. Envy, pride. pride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, let's boil it down to one actually, humility and pride, just because we're like, uh, and I think this is like a really, really big one for so many of us, you know, that, 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 that the secret underneath our humility, you know, is that we want to be seen. We want to be recognized. We want to be heard. We want to be felt. We want to be believed. We want to be appreciated. And that's you know? what, with my family's. Uh, diligence though mm -hmm. if I didn't continue this I would disappear you couldn't see me yeah. I believed the lie was you could only see me through my acts mm. 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 you could only see me you could only appreciate me through my acts yeah yeah you see yeah otherwise no you couldn't see me right right I'd cease to exist you I cease to exist because I didn't exist here I only existed because of what I was doing mm -hmm. you couldn't see me if I wasn't doing. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that for, you know, there's, there are those that want to be seen, right? Mm -hmm. And really that's, I think, what all, we all want oh, underneath, yes. you oh, know? I mean, yes. it just it delights me when you're like, oh, I love that line, Rebecca. Well, you just say it again, say it again, you know? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, yummy, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not prideful. No, it's being appreciated. It's delight, it's enjoy, it's enjoyment, okay? Delight, delight in yourself. Don't be afraid to delight in yourself. That's different than pride, okay? Very different, okay, than what, what we're couching as the sin, okay? And really, the humility, the thing that we practice as humility is the greater sin, okay? That's that secret underneath it is actually, don't look at me. Remember that show reversed. where we're like, don't look at me, look at me. Don't look at me, look at me. The humility is where we but hide. But these are reversed, really. Yeah. Because it's the lust that has to come into being in order for the sensuality to be accepted. Mm -hmm. So really, the lie is, there is no lust. Mm. It's the sensuality that's being repressed and denied. Yes, exactly. There is and no not lust. seen. There is natural not sensuality. Not appreciated. I hear you. Yeah. You but do you see why I'm so excited that we're ending on humility oh, yeah. and pride? Because humility is where we hide. Yes. So what a perfect note to end on with this show. Humility is where you hide. Oh, one minute. Right? Oh. <laughs> humility. Well, we're not even, we're, there's nobody even in the control. Okay, they're not, control they're not saying anything hey, to hey, us yet. <laughs> we'll secretly keep going. So what we're asking you to do, but, though, is yeah, begin to... Him, but begin to embody these okay if you're going to listen to us what we're talking about is more more life how are you going to do that you're going to embody them mm -hmm. embody do take a step what are you going to do with humility as a step oh wow humility i'm going to let myself be seen you know, I'm going to let myself be seen and, and heard and appreciated. I'm going to say thank you when someone says you're so beautiful. I'm going to say thank you. And underneath that thank you, I'm going to say I know. <laughs> yes. To myself, I'm going to say I know. And those okay. of you going through uh, the initiation of, oh, I don't know, you know, a breakup, a divorce, uh, a death, you see, feel it, embody it. Don't try and get away from what you're feeling, your, your body, the tears or the joy or the sensuality, whatever is coming for you. Yeah. You see, yeah. more, more please. Yeah. yeah. So that you can get to the personal freedom where you get to express yourself. Yeah. And bottom line, I hope what you took from today, I mean, go through all of these, the virtues and the sins for yourself. Find out how those relate to you and your secrets, okay? How, how, how those translate into secret keeping for you and secrets that keep you, okay? And, and bottom line, take them to the confessional with yourself, okay? And, and I hope what you got from today is that you saw there was no shame in this confessional. No. Don't bring shame into your confessional. No, no blame, no shame, no shame okay? No shame, no blame. None of it. 
this is a place of empowerment, this confessional, okay? Not penance, not that, that, oh. Oh, Cat of nine tails. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you obviously were not Catholic. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Um, so, yeah. So, I, we love you all. We I love do believe you. that we have to sign off okay, now. We, it's, it's just Rebecca and Tatiana, and come back next Tuesday. We'll yeah, leave you there. Every Tuesday <laughs> at 7 p.m. for more shamelessly shameless medicine every week. And you can find Tatiana at the Delphine Experience on Instagram and 1 yes. 800 Rent a Goddess on Instagram and Facebook. Yes. You can find me basically everywhere on social media at Shaman Sister. I think Tatiana's uh, website is still up, Should Tatiana up. Ray. Dot com yeah. Rebecca Haywood dot com. Oh, I have a journey going to Teo. We're not getting flagged yet. We're go- <laughs> I'm taking a journey to Teotihuacan for newbies, for Teo virgins. So if you want to go, it's like an exclusive journey, a private custom journey that I was invited to, to facilitate. But we're opening it five slots to the public. And I think there's already three of those five taken so are you the other two? Oh, and you would love it yeah oh. so just hit me up send me a message i'll send you all oh. the details okay it's going to be a great journey so we love you all we love we'll you. See you next thank week thank you for coming yes and thanks for the encouragement you're listening to shameless feminine speaks with your host, modern day shaman and sister to all, Rebecca Haywood, right here on LA Talk Radio.